rolling. Okay, we're gonna load the pack with gear for uh, what is typically for a one day canyon. At the bottom, usually I have a dry bag. This is a double dry bag and I usually put here my dry clothes and maybe some food. So this goes at the bottom. Uh, usually soft things at the bottom uh, work better uh, to avoid having hard stuff that is going to just uh, uh, abrade against the rock. So anything soft, it really prolongs the life of your pack if you put soft things at the bottom. Uh, the next thing will be a dry keg for electronics. If I have a my phone or GPS or something that is water uh, sensitive and is uh, critical or yeah, critical that doesn't get wet, I put it on a, this a small keg and put it in. I don't put the keg at the bottom because when the bottom, again, something hard against the bottom will uh, will really make the abrasion worse on the fabric. Uh, the next thing I'm going to put is a harness. Harness, uh, rappelling and rigging gear. Self rescue gear. Uh, helmet. Here on the side, we're gonna. I'm gonna put gear that I don't want on my harness, but I want this uh, gear accessible. This is a rescue cordelette that I also use uh, to lower the packs on uh, down climbs. Here. Uh, a blade for uh, webbing and anchors. Uh, another dedicated foot loop for uh, long ascents or rescues. and a supplementary anchoring system for managing uh, rappel stations. Right. So now we have plenty of space here for uh, water or food. If I'm gonna carry a large uh, rope bag for a particular canyon, I will carry it here. 